Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. Welcome to my top trade tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install or replace a thermostatic mixer shower. This particular one comes with the thermostatic mixer head, which connects to the hot and the cold. It has a main bar that comes up and then the rain shower head is installed. Below the mixer, you'll have the hose with a handheld shower and various different fixings. Now the tools you'll require is a drill and a drill bit for drilling tiles, a detector to make sure you don't drill any cables or wires behind it, spirit level, tape measure, rubber mallet, screwdriver, an Allen key, PTF tape, and of course, have a good read of the instruction manual before you start. To start off, I'm gonna remove these wall covers. These come off quite simple by unscrewing them anti-clockwise. And you'll see the wall plate behind them, which of course are screwed into the tiles, and these are connected to the 15 mil copper water pipe behind them, the hot feed and the cold feed. Now the unit I'm fitting is a matte black finished, so I've got some wall covers that are matte black that come with they screw on nice and tight. There we go. Same with the other one. Now, before you start to install the new thermostat on there, you must turn your water on, let it run through here first, just in case there's any debris inside of the pipes to clear that out. So this is the thermostatic valve I'll be installing. It turns it on and off, whether you want it for the shower above or the shower below. And this controls your temperature this side. So at the back, we're gonna see a hot and a cold symbol here. And these are our compression connections for our water pipes. I'm gonna place that in line and start to hand tighten clockwise each compression nut until they start to bite. Now I've tightened them as far as I can by hand. The next stage is to use an adjustable spanner, but before I do, I'm gonna put a little bit of masking tape around the nut itself because with it being a beautiful matte black finish or whether it was chrome or a satin finish there is a bit of a risk that you could scratch that surface with your spanner so a little bit of gaffer tape or even a cloth around that nut will work just over a quarter to a half a turn should be fine on that only a little bit more and you can always pop your boat level back on and double check that it's still level the next stage is to install the sliding rail now this bung gets taken off that's screwed on and this has to be connected to the tile so what I'm going to do is level across here find my center point which is be the center of here on the tiles and then with a the larger spirit level make my mark up here so it's perfectly level in the center of the mixer. So it's 92 millimeters, takes me to 46 there. I'm gonna put a larger spirit level. And I'll remove the protection cap off here. I'll also remove it out of the bottom of the rail and this has a washer in here. Make sure you don't drop that. It goes on to here. Now that's tightened up at the bottom. Again, I'm going to use my small boat level to transfer the center of this point to my tiles, which is about here. So now this is connected and tightened at the bottom. I'm going to put this section, which is the back end of here, 
that mounts to the wall and holds this bar in place. Now, I've got my center point here and I put that in the center. I'm gonna place my boat level along the top just to make sure that this is installed level. And then, mark a pen, a little dot on all four corners. When I remove that, I can see my four dots. And I place my, place my spirit level from dot to dot. And do a little cross here. And the same again that way. So that's my drill point right here. So now I'm going to remove this bar again so we can get access to drilling. I'll pop the dust cap back on to stop any drill debris going in there. And always check the surface first. If there are no pipes or wires behind the area you're about to drill. I'm using a cordless drill with a diamond tip drill bit designed for drilling into wall tiles. Tilt it on an angle, start the drill, press the nib against the surface. Once it starts to cut in, then you raise it up and drive it through at 90 degrees. Then you can apply your 6mm plastic raw plug. Give this a gentle tap in with a rubber mallet so it doesn't break the tiles. Place the screw into the back part of the bracket and start to hand tighten that into the wall. Then you'll need a normal screwdriver. I found the cordless screwdriver was a little bit too short. So I took my normal screwdriver and tightened that up. One double check that it's level with a small spirit level. If you're happy with that, then you can wipe away the debris from the drilling place the shower bar into position, screwing the nut onto the top of the thermostat. Then slide the one section of the bracket into the wall mounted bracket you've just fitted. You're going to have to tighten the nut up now so apply a bit of tape on there so you don't damage the paintwork with the spanner. Then using an allen key tighten up the grommet screw that holds the brackets together. Then there's the shower head and on the back Take off the plastic cap and you'll see another little rubber filter in there. Make sure that's in place. Take the plastic cap off. And you have an adjustment handle here if you want to take that even higher. Then you can put the washer in the flexible hose and attach the handheld shower. Apply another rubber washer to the other end of the flexible hose and then screw that to connect it to the thermostatic bar. So that's how you install a thermostatic mixer shower. If you're looking for more inspiration, check us out on all social media handles. And if you want to see more top tip videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel. But if you just want to know more about the information about the vast range of products that Bathroom Mountain stock, check out their website, bathroommountain.co.uk.